Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Ritnika and you have reached Natural Vibration. These are your love messages for the month of May. These are general readings and will not resonate with everyone. So if you like, you can book a private reading with me. All details are listed below. And if you like this video, it would be great if you could please like, share and subscribe. All right. So universe, what is the overall love message, love energy for Taurus for the month of May? All right. Hey, we've got 43. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Labyrinth. This card is about making your way through a confusing stream of events, often by trial and error. You may have goals and destinations you wish to reach, but getting there may prove more difficult than you expected. Your road isn't a direct one but has twists and turns. No matter how much you plan and strategize, at some point you will face inevitable mistakes. Be prepared for a few false turns and, the dead, and dead ends. The Labyrinth Cards directs you to retrace your steps if necessary and take a different route. Sometimes there simply is no direct path. Regrouping and starting again is not failure. It's all part of the progress. Even when you feel you're starting back to square one, you will be able to begin again with new information. This can also mean a puzzle or a problem requiring rational deduction to solve. Okay, interesting. So maybe you guys have been um, trying to achieve something and it hasn't happened in your love life and it kind of feels like there, it's the path to your goal isn't as simple as you thought it was going to be and requires you to go topsy-turvy, Taurus. But that does not mean that you can't do it, you know. Sometimes you need to strategize and have a proper plan and not give up, right? So let's get some more information about Taurus love life for me. Ooh, we've got the arts. Express yourself through three creative activities, Saraswati. This is an Indian god. And unconditional love, Mary Magdalene. Love yourself and others and every situation, no matter what out what the outward appearances may be. Okay. Got two more cards. Taurus love. The so sorceress, you're a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. All right, all about you coming into your power, manifesting, law of attraction, what do you want to make sh make happen? Happen. What else? And easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in, per pri in perfect timing. Okay. So what this is telling me for, is that in the month of May, Taurus, you might be trying to manifest some things and the universe is saying that the road may be a bit tough. You know, you, maybe you've been on this journey for a while and you wish it was a lot simpler. You know, instead of going straight, you kind of have to go like this and take a little detour and then go back on track. And, you know, the universe is saying is don't worry, okay? There is, first of all, you've got to love yourself no matter what. Maybe you took a few steps and that did not work out and now you feel like you have to start all over again. That doesn't mean that that you have failed or that you're not going to get to your end goal. It just means that certain detours were necessary for you. And that they, all these detours that you take, all these blockages that may come in your path, they're there because you're meant to learn something from it. They're meant to grow you as a person. And you need to love yourself unconditionally during this journey because if you start blaming yourself, if you start turning on yourself, that's not going to help you get where you want to go. So they're telling you that, look, love yourself, go with the flow. You don't have to force things to happen because things may not happen right away for you in your love life. But you can manifest what you want. You are a sorceress. You have to use the tools of energy, law of attraction, and all of those gifts that are there. Please do check out my law of attraction manifesting videos if you haven't. And you have to be very clear what you want to manifest. If you're wishy-washy, like, oh, maybe I want this, oh, maybe I don't, maybe I want it, but I won't get it, then you're not being very clear. You've got to be absolutely clear with regards to what you want and then know that it's going to come in the time that it's meant to come in, right? 
the arts may be important to you maybe any kind of creative expression maybe you are an artist yourself you know singer dancer writer um, painter whatever maybe by even playing an instrument or just writing or whatever you are expressing yourself and that helps you cope with the situation journaling gratitude lists these are things that can help you sort of you know love yourself and also get your life back in control so let's get some more clarity for taurus for the month of may in their love life Okay, we got four car five cards off the bat karmic partner free will mm, dark night of the soul vibration and separation okay i feel first and foremost that some of you are in separation with somebody that you want to be with all right um, I feel like you might be going through a dark night of the soul. So uh, either you or your partner may be in a karmic situation, could be with a part karmic partner, or maybe you're stuck in a karmic situation. That karmic situation needs to be worked through. Hence, it's taking so long. Look at that. There are other people in this maze. You're not. Oops. You're not alone, right? The goal. Say the goal is there. Right, the goal is to get to your happily ever after, your perfect partner or the person you're thinking of. But on the way, there's curves and there are other people on the way, and that goes very well with the karmic partner card. Maybe some of you Taurus have a, a karmic situation or a karmic partner that you're stuck with, and you've been trying to have your free will and you've been trying to get out of this situation, right? Maybe you're trying to separate from this person, but it's taking too long. Alternatively, somebody that you want to be with, Taurus, is in a karmic situation and you are in separation with them and you really want to get back together with them and that is pushing you and him, alternatively, going through all the karmic shit, going through the dark night of the soul. You may be going through negative energies. You may be going through the dark night of the soul energies. And that is because you have to sort of um, come out of it to go to the next step. What you got to work on is raising your vibration, okay? Learning to have unconditional love for this person as well as for yourself, you know? Learning to manifest but also going with the flow, not holding on to the outcome too much. The biggest thing you can do is raise your vibration. And I feel writing, playing an instrument, any kind of artistic pursuit may help you do that. Writing a gratitude journal will help you raise your vibration. You are in this process right now and it's going to take a little bit of time. What you can do is love unconditionally and raise your vibration. That is the only way for you to go through this and get to the next point, okay? But just because the road is long and you kind of have blockages on the way and you have, it takes a bit longer, Taurus, doesn't mean you can't get to the end goal, okay? So let's get some advice card for Taurus for Love Life in May. We've got cleanse. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take some time for much-needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body needs care and attention. It is time for, for spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. All right, so Torrance, it's about time you cleanse your energy. You, are in, you may be stuck in this dark night of the soul. You may be stuck in a karmic situation. What you can do is raise your vibration by cleansing yourself from the old negative vibration. Um, incense, um, Palo Santo, um, sage, saltwater baths, grounding, walking in nature, all of that will help you cleanse yourself. You need to let go of the old star so you can get into the new and embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. See, 
This is all about changing your energy. This is all about choosing positively activity today, raising your vibration today. Yes, things are not looking good. <clears throat> yes, things are hard. Yes, the future may seem like impossible, even though it isn't. But what you can do is change your outlook. <clears throat> I always tell my clients, it is not the outside world that needs changing. What really needs changing is our mindset and how we think about things. The minute we change that, the minute we change our vibration, the minute we change, uh, we uplift ourselves, everything starts looking better and everything starts falling in line. You cannot manifest what you want if you're stuck in a lower vibration. All right, Taurus, I hope this was helpful. Take care.